two from our agenda. We have a relatively, we have a relatively short uh, meeting. Well, so it appears, so we'll see as, as the night goes on. So the first thing I ask, uh, welcome any comments from the public. If you'd like to address the board, I don't have any comments you'd like to make. Yes, sir. Please stand up, identify yourself, let us know what's going on. Uh, my name is McManus Michael, uh -huh. uh, 105 Champlain Street. Yep. And a couple of meetings ago, I asked the board about the village electric situation, and I know we don't get it on that end of town. I understand that. And when all was said and done, I asked if there was any way they would take into consideration maybe the idea of giving us a little bit of a break on our water and sewer. So I don't know if that was ever mentioned to you or brought up or now I'm I at this point we're still waiting for FOIA requests from NYSEG and we will be getting some will be coming to the town too. For the village or the town? For the village, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, concerning anything to do with uh, any talks or uh, any deals with NYSEG about trying to get, you know, Village Electric for the 17 houses on the west west end of the village there. But at this point, I was just, uh, I was just wondering if you did hear about that or give any consideration to that idea. We have we approved the minutes. I can tell you that, and uh, there hasn't been any uh, anything on the agenda yet. So uh, when something comes up, there'll be a board discussion at that time. Okay. And uh, just for uh, years ago, me, Brian Pelkey, and George Rivers met with the representatives from NYSAC about six years ago, and they come in right off the bat. They said there's no way at that time right. they would let the village take that over because they got Albert Care apartments that run off them. Plus behind your all that behind your house. Right. So that was then they made a change of mind. I was told by someone at NYSE not too long ago, but he wouldn't verify this. That's why we sent the FOIA request for any information that they had. But back in the nineties they offered for thirty thousand dollars to let that end go to the village, but they wanted permission to run a natural gas line in the village set now. Can you tell me? Or does anybody have information? No, we'll look at your FOIA request when you come in, and we'll put it on the board agenda so that we can all okay. search it and do the justice. Thank you for bringing that up. Sure. Appreciate well, it. one other thing, and this is just a minor thing, but to me, being a veteran, it's important. Your flag's getting a little tattered out there. The one bottom stripe okay. is starting to come off of it. So I would appreciate it yeah. if, you know, maybe soon you can take care of that. We will look into that, sir. Thank you for bringing that to our attention. Uh, anyone else have anything they'd like to say? Okay. Let's look at the meeting, uh, meeting uh, minutes from the meeting of June 6th. Uh, the draft minutes you have in front of you, you have time to review them. Uh, I'd like a motion to approve those minutes for, for that meeting of uh, June 6th. Make a motion to approve the minutes. For the second. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, most is carried. Uh, we're going to review the bills which you received. Uh, we have eight pages of them. And uh, you have them now for a few days. No additions or deletions. No additions or deletions for our Treasurer, thank you, sir. Uh, page uh, three of the bills. I'd like to ask the uh, treasurer for an explanation of an item, please. Could we have a, a motion to pay the bills, and then we'll have some discussion. Make a motion to pay the bills. I'll second it. Okay. And now discussion. And uh, Mr. Treasurer, Trustee Darts asked you had a question for him. Our sent on on page three of eight. There is a line item where we pay like we always do uh, a certain amount fines collected to the state. This was $5,393.25. Yep. Do you know what our share was that of the total fines? Because this is not the total of the fines for a certain period. No. Uh, well, actually. All these fines are generated by all agencies, including our own, within the village limits.
total amount collected was 8,269.06. Okay, so we, can we assume that the difference between so 82 and 53 is that the village received 2,875.81. Yeah. Okay. This probably was for one month, correct? This is for the month of May. Yeah. Thank you. One other question for our send on uh, page 5 of 8. There was an amount paid of $693 to the Clinton County Department of something. Yes. And it says refund on account number 32. Can you explain that, please? Which, what page is that? Uh, five of eight. It's under the electric department? Yeah, that's, that's uh, return of uh, heat money that was not used for a customer. They went off, the, went off the system or something like that. All right. Thank you very much. That's all I have for questions. Thank you. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, well, first order of business is always a pleasure. Uh, I'm going to move down to the front here, and I'd ask Mr. Karen Gilroy to come forward. I have a proclamation here regarding the uh, 4th of July celebration, and one of our outstanding young citizens uh, is going to be receiving some uh, a proclamation in her record. So, Ms. Jelmo, could you come forward? Okay, this proclamation says, Whereas the Rouseless Point 4th of July 4th Committee, as in the past, asked the elementary class of Rouseless Point Elementary School to create a picture depicting the 4th of July celebration. And whereas the elementary class of the Rouseless Point Elementary School participated, by submitting pictures to be used for this event, whereas Minerva Jelano, a fifth grader at Rouse's Point Elementary, submitted a picture which was chosen by the Rouse's Point 4th of July committee as the winning entry. Here's the picture here for you all to see. It's a beautiful rendition, very patriotic. So therefore be it resolved that the Board of Trustees of the Village of Rouse's Point would like to thank Minerva Jelano for her efforts in creating this picture and Further be it resolved that I, Daniel H. Laterno, Mayor of the Village of Rouses Point, present Minerva Jelano with this proclamation honoring her outstanding effort. Thank you, ma'am. Great job. We really appreciate your participation. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, the picture is on the 4th of July celebration poster, yes. and I believe you have a, a little small. Another little gift. So besides a proclamation, you got something that you might be able to spend. So good. thank you very much. Again, great job. Uh, okay, that's always pleasant to see the youth of our community you know, joining in and, and helping out. Uh, I have a couple things that uh, I'm just going to mention that that are not on the agenda. Real quickly. I just received it today. One of them is uh, the county uh, youth bureau sent us uh, an outline of numbers for the rosters for uh, the number of individuals from all the different townships and villages participating in basketball, baseball, softball, soccer. Uh, they have the official <coughs> rosters done for that. And I'm very pleased to say that uh, Rouse's Point has a total of 340 participants, second only to the town of Plattsburgh, which has 489. Uh, quite, quite a large uh, town. And so we also have some t-ball uh, with about 42 players, we have track, street hockey, tennis, swimming, we have arts and crafts, reading and theater. So our uh, parents are definitely engaged. And you know we have a lot of volunteers. Our recreation director is doing a good job, and uh, so we're the children have things to do in the uh, in the summer months uh, besides uh, riding their bike in the pier, <laughs> so, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, and uh, I'm going to hold off on the last thing because I know Trustee Dart is going to be talking about uh, the rec path, and I just have a little bit of additional information when he finishes that. So that's all I have, so I'll turn it over to uh, Trustee Moore. I have nothing. This seems like the village is going good. It's looking good. Flowers look really good. Yeah, it is great. We do have uh, the Lakeshore 
is being uh, trimmed now. We <coughs> Uh, the, well, the state prisoners are uh, working on that now, part of their work detail, so we're happy to see that. Okay, thank you. Trustee Mott. The only thing I have is we got to decide, you guys got to decide what we're going to do with the old, uh, old 305 fire truck. Do you want to put it up for surplus? Do you want to just put it for sale? Uh, it's something that we got to think about. Uh, perhaps. For, our, for our procedures, it's, you know, it's got to be surplus and then it's it has to be offered for sale. Um, we have to decide, I think, whether we're going to put a minimum bid on that sale. Uh, I think we should. Evaluate, you know, what what the actual cost of it is, and I don't think we I don't think we want to sell it for five dollars. Uh, Mr. Mayor, you know, just, just a scrap on it. It's, it's worth a lot more. Than so, um, what were your you had some thoughts on this? Well, in discussion with the fire chief. Apparently, the place that we bought the new truck, the new 305, the way I understood it, has made an offer of $1,600. Uh, it's going to a school. It's, you know, it's not going to another fire service. It's actually a group um, that raised the funds themselves and uh, have offered $1,600 for the truck. A fire school? Well, uh, perhaps maybe we can ask Mike to... So... Are you, are you that our chief is here? Yes. It's a, it's a school that teaches young young children, 16, 17 year olds, um, law enforcement, firefighting, those kind of things. But the, the point is, if, if they get it, they don't need the siren and the lights. We can sell that stuff or, or keep it for other trucks. Uh, there's a generator, there's a diesel generator in there that's got to be worth, I, I would think, the minimum of $500. So, you just got to decide. You guys got to decide what you want to do. If you want to put it up for bid, that's not a bolt down or anything. No, so it's, it's fire. Out. It's a fire training school. So you can't just. Uh, you have to. Right. Um, well, uh, what, what, I think we have. We, I think we. You know, we're going to surplus it. I think we probably should put it out the bid with a minimum bid to, to see what it is. I mean, or, and we'd have to ask our attorney about this, whether or not we could simply sell it right to an educational, um, you know, institution like this. Uh, you know, um, I don't I don't think we're going to make a ton of money on it. Well, I, I can tell you in the past, if I remember correctly, uh, when we got our new fire truck, 303, the old one, the surplus, and I think the intention was that we were going to get big money for it. And it ended up going for $3,500, I think. And that was in far better shape than the one. So, yeah. I mean, even though I think $1,600 is a little light, maybe you guys think it's acceptable. I, I don't know. Uh, I think it's light, but it's going to a good, going to a good, good training place. If, we, if it's going to encourage more volunteer firefighters in the state of New York, could, could we counter their offer if that's that if that's the way that we go with 2500 the other thing is i don't believe it's in the state of new york is this in pennsylvania Mike? it's in delaware actually delaware okay well i guess you know nationwide it, it, it is a thing but I, I think they raise the money themselves but i think if we put if we put it up for sale with a minimum bid of let's say 2500 give them the opportunity to uh, Come in at that price, do a little bit more fundraising. Let's that. counter them with 2500 and they can well, the funds. Well, we're going to, we'll, how about we put it up for bid with a minimum, we put, we, you know, people can do sealed bids on it with a minimum of uh, 2500 okay. That's the minimum bid. And we'll see what kind of response we get. And I think we can, we'll have the chief personally notify this group, say, look, the minimum bid is 2500 and probably, you know, go, go from there. How long a bond span? Uh, I don't think we have it spelled out. Do you know our center? If, uh, we have a... No, so it's, it's, up, okay. it's up to you guys. So we could, you know, a month? 30 days? I would say so. 30 days, and, and what do you allow to go with it? Is the generator going with it? The whole, the whole package? Light, siren? Uh, is there anything... I'm going to ask the chief again, is there anything on there that we should be keeping as something we could we could use in our department or is really that stuff out obsolete or? Everything that we've wanted, we've taken off it. 
and then some. We've taken all the equipment off it at this point. Uh, I would say if it's going to an emergency services organization, then some of that stuff should go back on the truck because those ladders and suction hose generally come with a fire truck. But if it's going yeah, out yeah, to be... If it goes to them, learning how to use a generator and that stuff. And then you got to say what's I think on we have we should. surplus, you got to say what's yeah. on Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll start. If we could uh, start the surplus procedure uh, for sale of that item, uh, and we'll put a minimum bid of 2500 Once all that's done, from the date it's first advertised, we'll have it for 30 days, and we'll open the bids after that time period. Sounds good. All right. So that's the uh, yeah. Let's let's do that in the form of a motion. So I think uh, the motion. Make, I make the motion. What you just said. Twenty five hundred dollars minimum bid. It's going to run for a duration of thirty days. And uh, I feel that it should be offered to the people that bid sixteen hundred at that price before it's publicly uh, put up for surplus. If it's sold. It if we can do that, I, I'm I'm almost positive we can. What are your guys' feelings on that? I mean, we sold, I mind it. We we sold fire it well. We sold old police cars right. and stuff before and didn't go to bid. So it's all private individual, right? Well, okay, so the motion is uh, we're gonna we're gonna put a twenty five hundred dollar minimum bid on it. Uh, we're gonna surplus we start to surplus a procedure. We're gonna ask our chief to notify whatever the name of this notified the Delaware Academy of Public Safety and Security that uh, the price would be $2,500. Uh, do you have a pretty random correspondence with that, Mike? I have an email address for the person that's... Maybe you could send that out to them, see, get a response back, and let Gene know, and then uh, if they, they can't do it, it's going in the paper, uh, and we'll go from there. So that, Perfect. that's where the motion yep. is. We have a second on that? Second. Further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay, motion's carried. Okay, anything else? Trustee no, Arnold. that's all I have. Trustee Arno. On uh, garbage cans for the downtown, everybody's got a copy of that? Uh, this is a pretty well-made uh, garbage can. It's got a lid on it. I know it ain't the, the best looking, but it's heavy, heavy duty. It's pretty heavy duty, and uh, you can kick it, you can run over it with a car, your car bumps into it, it's not going to break or nothing, it's, it's pretty well made, it's about a three quarters of an inch thick. And if that holds for 75 bucks, I think we got to purchase, and they got a, a handle on where we could take them, I don't think they'll blow away, but there's a place that we could put a chain on them to anchor them to a pole or something or whatever. Where do you want them? Six places in the village. I think we ought to put one at the pier. Uh, one down by uh, uh, Sandy Deli or whatever. Uh, one by the coffee shop. One at the fire uh, uh, railroad. One on the corner of Maple and Academy on the corner. So that's six. I remember why we took the other ones off. Uh, yes, a lot of people. They were putting residential garbage in it. They were right. bags in out of their houses and stuff. Yeah. And actually, they even found an air conditioner in one point. Yeah. Is there garbage all over the village? That's why you're looking at these now? Or? Well, we're just trying to make, make the village a little more friendly. I mean, there's a lot of people that sit here, there, and stuff, like in front of the coffee shop or whatever. And, or bicyclists or whatever come by and stuff. There ain't no place to throw nothing. People walking their dogs. People walking their dogs. Few trash cans out there, right? No, there's only one trash can. It's over to the library. Cody moved it from by Myers over to the library. So we got one. We did. And they took, we took them off because they weren't the red style can. Do we sell them? The ones that we no, there, there's nothing, nothing left. The ones that we need have either a lid on them, or you can only slide small things in, or they have a round hole on top. So right. Yeah. Just small articles. Well, I looked into them, and them are at least 200 bucks anyhow a piece. Well, we could modify a small hole, hole. Chain, chain the cover shot, or and modify the cover, or just accept a certain size thing. If we want to go this route, the cover would be modified ourselves. 
generally aren't, and this has got a flip cover like this. Right. Generally aren't, I don't know, mass. Garbage cans right. on the street are usually have a little hole or a cover on them. With right. A, right, some kind of an opening. Yeah. You know, then, then start at 200 bucks. Well, um, even if we got a couple of them, then, uh, if you want to go the other ones. I think it would be less problem than right. I mean, the one thing you had last meeting that you should pick yes. up, them were perfect. Yeah. But they were pricey. Yes. But you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I here, what fine. If I think of Main Street, you're going to get a lot of people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sure. sure. Oh, yeah. You're going to get. Mm -hmm. but, so you found some that, that were about $200 a piece right. that have the smaller top. That's staples, yeah. yeah. A little small hole in the top. Similar, same size, about 30 gallons, 35 Plastic. gallons. Plastic. Plastic, yeah. I've seen on the, uh, a lot of the different catalogs that come in for parks and recreation and like that. There's some that are like a, like a conglomerate stone, you know, and they've got a, a little top on it. Oh, yeah. They put through the side. Yeah, yeah you, don't, you don't pick those up and go away, away with them. Uh, they're about $500. Bucks, huh? They're $500. Yeah. No, you're not going to spend $3,000 on garbage cans, that's for sure. No. Uh, but maybe if we uh, got three, three at 200 mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, it would certainly help. Yeah. Three this summer and three next summer. I'm, I'm worried about once you guys are talking about it, that big right, yeah. that. Oh yeah, it does have a big, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm talking about people taking advantage of it, and, mm -hmm. you know, or who knows, you know. Yeah, most of the time it's just like soda bottles and yeah. and paper from a sandwich or something yeah. like that that they want to throw oh, in. Are the restaurants the thing that people throw garbage in front of their place or anything? Or just well, a few places are, yeah. See, it's a pigeon out paper, then. Yeah. yeah. Well, do we want to, uh, do you still have this? Keep you running back and forth. Oh, that's okay. Nope. No, no big deal. I, no. I think. Uh, well, I know the summer started yesterday, mm -hmm. um, so we want to, you know, be able to move on this uh, fairly soon. If, if uh, the board can agree, um, we could find the garbage can that Trustee Arnold talking about and pick up three of those and uh, get them out there with one of the smaller tops. Six hundred dollars. We can find six hundred. Positive. Don't you say that to Mr. Treasurer. <laughs> I'll just reach in his pocket and get it. That's what we're going to give it anyway. So, um, that's, uh, would the board like to entertain something like that? I make a motion that we buy three with a small lid from Lowell, or from uh, Staples. Up to three, up to six hundred dollars. Up to six hundred dollars, yeah. Okay. So second on that, further discussion? I'm going to give Ben a U-line catalog, which has all kinds of plastic things in it, plus office supplies. It's about an inch and a half thick, I get it. And just so that if we see something better, cheaper, then... Okay. The U-line's a good Yeah, that'd be good. Make sure it can be chained down. Okay, Eddie, so you've got a $600 limit, and we want something that's... All right, I'll bring it back with us for the little yes. six smaller, smaller things. Okay, I'll bring it back the next meeting. Yeah. All right, so... Okay, uh, also... At the state dock, I looked at the sign down at the thing, and I think the best best thing we, we could do down here, I think we could fill that in with uh, wood putty and paint over it green, just the fishing. Yeah, it looked kind of, it looked, you know, I was down there this morning again looking at it, it looked kind of out of kilter, you know, I mean, I, I didn't really find an easy way to do it other than replace the sign, you know. It's, there's so many kind of prohibitions on that thing. Oh, I know, yeah. I mean, it, kind of expensive to place to sign it if we can just try it and see what it looks like. I don't think we're going to ruin it. Do we have that color paint? Well, I'm sure we could get color on it, the green. Well, I know. It looks like a forest green or whatever. There's got to be some kind of proprietary color from that sign company, I would imagine. There's so no need for a sign there at all. Oh. Village Pier should have a sign. I don't know if we got to have no all skating, the prohibitions no. on it. I think there's no, no biking, no rollerblading, no skating, no, no skating, fishing, no, no skating. I don't know. There's a lot, it's a lot of Yeah, um, yeah. If, we, if we needed that, put a, 
we could get a little metal sign and stick it off in a corner somewhere. You know, I don't think we've had really any trouble with any of that stuff. And, you know, it's meant to be used by the residents. Uh, I know by the other day there was a whole bunch of the bikers that come down and stop down there. And yeah. we're sitting there and enjoying a, a, some wa a bottle of water. And, uh, mm -hmm. So I, you know, I don't know if they ought to be cited just because they're, they're not physically riding their bicycles out there. Um, I don't know. Uh, no. We we can try that, but I I I'm skeptical about how that's going to look. But you want to get rid of the sign? I'd like to get a sign that just says, you know, Village Beer. Yeah, try to get rid of all that stuff. The kids aren't doing skateboards anymore. They're too busy texting. <laughs> <laughs> I know phones down there. Don't go about that. Oh, hold on, I'll check this out. Yeah. Yeah, we don't need a very big sign. Just uh, something that says no, 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 no swimming or no diving. That's right. the two big ones. The road end or where you start walking out from? Oh. Um, just the rules right at the base of the pier. Yeah, that's where the well, sign is right they, now. And yeah, the no swimming and diving are the last two things on there. Yeah, we're the so only two that should stay. In if, we right. can, if we can find a, if we can find a color to match it. We could start with the fishing, see if that worked. Mm -hmm. We've already had mm -hmm. we already had the motion that we're gonna allow we allow fishing down there. It was part of the original intent of the grant. Yep. So uh um I guess you might as well try that. You guys wanna <coughs> uh, you wanna go with a tap to see if that you can do that? It's gonna be covered in tension with one way or the other anyways, right? Yep. Fill it in with a little plastic wood like you said, yep. a little bomb belt. Mm-hmm. Well, well Cruciano, you volunteering to do this? You're gonna oh yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Yeah. We need to get the color matches the big thing. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. So, no, but I'm sure it can be filled in. You know, mm -hmm. just have, great. There's no gold leaf on this sign or anything else like the other sign, so yeah. um, it should be. Well, let's uh, we'll leave it in your capable hands and uh, okay. see if you can find. Uh, let's just start with fishing. See what right, yeah. you know, okay. and and trying to match the color. Mm -hmm. okay. Also on the on the pier uh, I was down there a couple times and I guess they tried to clean the, the mold off and the, the thing with a pressure washer or whatever yeah, it looked pretty good but it, I think they used too much pressure or something because well you, you don't want to rub your hands across it too hard because you're going to get some slivers it's composite yeah well I, was okay. today. I looked at it today and it wasn't that yeah, well, yeah, you're talking about your hands. The benches? The benches, yeah. The benches, I see. Yeah, don't rub your hand on the benches because you are going to get some slivers or something on your hand. I guarantee you. Uh, well, let's, you know, let's, we'll, we'll uh, look into that, see if we need to sand it down. I mean, that's not. That's Either not sand it down or uh, if, we do, if we do put a, 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 a sealer on it, I think it ought to be a clear sealer. Like a Thompson water seal or something like that or whatever, just to protect, but preserve it. Yeah, yeah. On the pier itself, on the on the gazebo itself. Well, yeah, the gazebo is going to be. That's already that's being done. That is going to oh. be painted with uh, a semi-transparent stain that shows the wood grain. Right. And it has a water repellent in it. Right. So, and it's going to be. Trusty Dart that. mentioned. Uh, a good way to match the color was to look at the color of the boards inside the roof that aren't faded yet. So we've got a color that pretty much matches that. And that's what the whole thing is going to be staying like that. Yeah. So that's going to happen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? And who, did, who plans on doing that? Well, it's either going to be uh, if we if there's enough time for the uh, the uh, Clinton work crew to do it. If not, it will be. One of our laborers will do it. Well, because I think we ought to take and if, mention it to them that we've got to put something on the cement and stuff like that. Can yeah. you put that, yeah, yeah. cover the cement, I mean, yeah. tape it off or whatever, because yeah. that's going to be a mess. Yeah. Okay. And also on the village signs, where are, are, are we ever going to put our village signs back up? Oh, we, we had one that, was, that fell down out in 276. Uh, oh, well, the one at the bridge road is missing still. I have no idea where it is. You guys were dealing with that. You and John were dealing with that. I don't know. supposed to pick them up. I don't know what happened after that. 
You know, I mean, that's before the three of us were on George, board. George, the, old, the other mayor there, the old chief. Okay, we got the administrator a little bit here. I, I went over and took pictures in, are you talking about the frame that's vacant inside? Yep. But right in front of that is the new village sign mm -hmm. that was had the gilding painted on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so I think that is a replacement for the other one. There's an empty frame there, but, yeah. the, but the new sign that, that re repainted, yeah, that's been up. Just like it is south of the village, too. It's well, in what, front of that frame. Well, why are we leaving that frame there? Good question. I think the town put that in. Is that the one the town put that in? That's what I mentioned to you. I don't know. The town had a sign up there. It used to say, I think it's not Champlain. Remember there, were, there was one coming in from Casey? Yeah. So I think that's what that was. It's not ours. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Is that else, sir? Uh, the water plant is continuing. They're flushing, and they're, they're all done. Uh, flushing, but uh, they have to flush again, and they'd like the help of the DPW to give them a hand on this. And uh, they're uh, going to pressure wash the, the exterior of the water plant and possible paint it. Get some paint on it. So. Okay, as far as the uh, DPW uh, helping out, I, I see that there's a number of uh, the DPW workers have water and did D licenses, di distribution licenses. And I think the purpose of that was so they could work on, on the distribution part of it. So mm -hmm. we'll have to, I think, our uh, administrator is working on getting a getting a definitive answer on what distribution, what that actually constitutes, you know, what it is. So we're, that's right. it. We're, she's looking at that. Okay. Okay? Yep. All right. Mm -hmm. Trustee Dart. Okay, I've got one item tonight. It's uh, concerning our, our walking path that we had the opportunity to get a hold of a $30,000, a very generous grant to uh, connect with a couple of paths around this building. It's, uh, the path is consists of about 1,040 feet long. Um, we've got some figures from, from uh, Brian Telke on the village's uh, end of it. We've got a figure from a paving company on what it's going to cost to transport and to put the two different types of pavement down the base coat and then an armor coat on top of that. Um, last I knew, we were waiting for a, for a, a memorandum of understanding. Did we see, receive that, Gene? Yes, it's been signed. Among you? Okay. It's been signed. It's back in there. And we also, just before the meeting, uh, had, it was faxed to me, or it was faxed to the uh, the recreation director, and she gave it to me to sign for the first ten thousand dollar payment. That'll be it. That would the check will be written in three weeks, but it's, it's being hand carried tomorrow. So the uh, first ten thousand dollar payment is available, and we can purchase the stolen down, and you know we, we can have a carry over until then. So just that's what I wanted to mention as you went along. So. All right, thank you. Um, so we're going to go with uh, the wear paving for the, the top coat. Uh, just like anyone else, you try to figure out where they come up with the money, but they're going to get, they want 16400 just for transporting it and for applying it. And that was the lowest bid we received. There was other paving companies that didn't have an interest in it because they didn't have a five-foot paver. Um, Cody said he's looked at some work that this lawyer has done, and uh, he said it looked pretty good. So I haven't personally looked at their work, and I'm not really familiar with these guys. Northern uh, Blacktop was the only other company that was uh, interested in giving us the price. And uh, uh, the village's um, cost share in that, as far as, not cost share, but the village's cost of materials for the base to, uh, uh, and everything, and, and to uh, run a conduit line for future uh, lighting out there. It was uh, twelve thousand four hundred or twelve thousand eight hundred dollars. So the total between the lawyers and the village is twenty nine thousand two hundred, and we were hoping that with the thirty thousand we might be able to get some exercise equipment or something. But at least that's not going to happen this this go around. But well, the, the village is not paying anything. 
Right, so there's no village no, here. No. Right, what's well, I mean, it's all, I mean, the money is all from county. That's right, that's what I said, $30,000 grant. Right. And the work the village is doing is, is twelve thousand eight hundred and the way it's sixteen four. Okay, that's great. what it is, yeah. Great. So they plan they plan on starting uh, tomorrow. I think Brian was talking about as long as we got the board approval tonight. We already approved the project to start, so we don't need to do anything. We don't need it. We've got the MOU sign, the yep. money's on its way, so there's no more need for anything else. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Who's here soon? Thank you. Uh Madam Administrator, do you have any reports? I do not. Mr. Treasurer? Uh, <clears throat> just a couple items. Uh, the auditors were here last week, so that went well. They'll be sending a report for regards to that. Um, we are going to have training in the next three days on our new utility building software. We went, we are going live as of tomorrow, so just let you know about that. And the other thing is, is I sent a uh, memo to the board regarding our current copier. Our lease is coming up in uh, March of 2017. And the village clerk and myself met with um, Dave Reynolds from the Simquest company, with, who has our current copier contract. Um, right now, the current lease terms, we're paying two nineteen forty four a month for the, for the lease. You know, we're paying six. 6.7 cents for black pages and 5.1 cents for color print pages. Um, they are running a promotion right now through June 30th where they will pay the last six months of our lease. Also pay to have the new copier um, replaced, the transportation costs um, to move the thing. Upgrade to a Konica Minolta copier. Um, the payments on that would be 209.47 for five years, which is roughly 10 bucks less a month that we're paying now. The black ink pages would be 4.9 cents and colors 4.2 cents, which are also all below current figures. What is so, your recommendation on that? Uh, we would like to. I talked to everybody pretty much in the office, and we would like to move ahead forward and take advantage of this offer. Right now, according to him, he says the Konica Minolta copier is the number one brand on the market. I haven't seen that memo yet. Did you, did you send it out by email or? Uh, well, no, I didn't. No, okay. it was marked a general item, but uh, okay, I wasn't in the office today, so I'm not exactly sure okay. what happened. Okay. Uh, when is our current lease up? Our current lease is up March 21st, 2017. We have to start the paperwork on this prior to June 30th. Okay. Well, gentlemen, uh, we have an opportunity for an upgraded copy or a less cost than we currently have. Uh, no cost for the transportation of the building right and removal of the other one. Uh, I made a motion that we purchase this. Okay. A motion uh, made by Trustee Arnold that uh, we take advantage of the promotional offer for the new Conica Minolta uh, printer and the current lease rates are offering. Do we second on that? Second. Second by Trustee Moore. Further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, we can move forward with that, sir. Thank you. Anything else? That's all. Okay. <clears throat> all right, once again, uh, you know, May want to make a closing comment uh, before we move uh, into adjournment and then executive session. So, if anyone from the public would like to mention anything on their mind right now, we might be able to put it on the next agenda. Or... No? Can it be regarding what we were just what you guys were talking about? Yeah, you can make a comment on it. We won't have a discussion, but we'll right. certainly listen to I'm it. I'm new to the area. My name is James Kirk, nine Columbus Drive. Uh -huh. Welcome, James. Thank you. Just talking about the uh, trash cans with the smaller holes in the top. It, it, I probably thought it's the entire lid. You want to be sure you can lock the entire lid down. If it doesn't have a locking capability, somebody might put one of the stunts and take the top and dump it. Right. Okay. Thank you. Always a good idea to make sure we look at all, all yep. options. So yep. Always good. Thank you, sir. Any other comments? Okay, I'd like to uh, 
get a motion to go into adjourn the meeting for now while the public leaves, and, uh, and then we'll uh, go into executive session to discuss the kind of history of the employee and so Motion. Motion to adjourn by Trustee Moore. Second. Seconded by Trustee Arnold. Discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.